welcome to Solex Nation. Now, if you are in our Facebook group, you saw a little Facebook Live that we did last Friday, and it was kind of a surprise, and that's how we wanted it to be. But we announced something kind of fun. But now it's out there. It I think out I, there. I think a few people have seen it at least, but let's go through the details again. Okay. How about that? Yes. So to carry forward, we gave away a bunch of Alpha 3 six packs for testimonials in the month of June. We gave over a hundred oh Alpha 3 passes, six pack of passes to you for sending in your testimonials in June. That was really, that was a really great turnout. So we appreciate all those testimonials. So what we're do looking to do is beat that hundred yes, in the month are. of July. And this is what this, if you didn't see the Facebook Live, this is, this is the summary. You enroll a brand new QLA in the month of July, and we're going to help them start their business on the right foot. We're going to give them a six pack of Alpha 3 passes for signing up to be a, a QLA. That's $125 value right it is. there, right? Yes. But it gets even better, right? How does it get better? It gets better because you also get a six pack of Alpha 3 passes for anyone that you sign up. So if you sign up more than more than one person, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you sign up 10. However many people you sign up, you get a six pack of Alpha 3 passes. Yeah, and let's put the disclaimer. Anyone you sign up as a QLA. It does need to be a QLA. Right, a QLA. Yes. So you obviously get replenishment and support for your business for signing up a brand new QLA. And that brand new QLA gets started out on the right foot with a set of six packs. They get a, they get a share with their family, their friends, yeah. anybody to get the ball rolling in their Solex business. Now, as their enroller help them, now a lot of these people have used an Alpha Pass, Alpha 3 Pass, so they know what it is. But there will be some that you sign up that have not used an Alpha 3 Pass. So explain to them what it yep. is, where it is, how to access it, how to send it. If you aren't sure yourself, uh, all that information is on YouTube. We have videos uh, that you can watch and that you can send out on how to access your Alpha 3 Pass and then what to do once you've received one. Yeah, this is a great setting for the follow-up, right? Once you, you've you helped them sign up and they've enrolled and they're excited and everyone's motivated, which we all are when we're starting any new endeavor, the follow-up is, okay, now what are the action items? What can we do from today till my success point of my, my goals and my achievements? One of the, Part of that conversation should be, okay, you have a six pack of Alpha 3 passes. What are they? How do you use them? How do you issue them? How let's do you talk track about, them? Let's talk about the people that you want to send them to. Yeah. Make a list. So anyway, great opportunity opportunity this month, and we're happy to um, send those out to all of you. And we have a bunch of people already taking advantage. If we they do. Start, if you signed up if from July, July 1 all the way through the end of the month, we're already issuing these. So it takes about one business day to get them into your an, an account. Yes. So uh, just you know, wait, know that that's going to happen. It'll be about a business day behind. But you will get them, and you will be able to use them. Yes. So. Now, speaking of the month of July and July coming to an end, um, there's about three and a half weeks left of our Disneyland contest. And now this is, like we've said, this is anyone's game right now. We're not sure it, who's going. We look all the time, and, yeah. the, and the people's names at the top keep changing. So just to remind you, the top three people who have enrolled the most direct QLAs that are active will win this trip. And this is a uh, two day, two days in the park. It's a Disneyland hotel and yep. yeah, three nights in a Disneyland hotel, airfare. You get to bring a guest. You get to hang out with us. It's going to be really fun. That last part is the, is the best part, right? Yeah. No, let's not. let's go with Lauren and go on. Uh, Thunder Mountain is fun with Lauren. Yes. That's oh, it is. It yeah. is. He puts his arms up. You can yeah. mess with him. Yeah. 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 He, don't don't have him sit behind you. It's, it's trouble. <laughs> no, OK, so the reminder the people with the most active QLAs at the end of this month, the three people will win. Um, and if Disneyland is not your thing, you get a cash out on that prize. That's right. But if it is, we're going to go in October. We'll all go together. We're going to have a, a blast together. Okay. And we have about seven and a half weeks until Day of Discovery. And we are so excited for that. We're making final preparations here, getting your swag bags together. Remember, everyone who purchases a ticket does get a swag bag. Yeah. Um, this is not an either or. This no. is a everybody who attends the live event. This is for you. Yes. And usually the swag bag is always worth more than the ticket price. Yes. So, so if you're interested in coming, your tickets are available in your back office. So I got something kind of fun. Yeah, you did. I got a license plate. I felt like I was not part of the of the groups here. So I well, needed a license plate. You weren't part of the group here. So I'm going to show kind of you. Like... 
an outlier. Yeah. We're missing an action here. <laughs> The question so, is, uh, which team did I choose? Which team did you choose? Now I went to the DMV and I wanted them to do something different, but they wouldn't let me. So standing at the counter, I had to decide really fast out what I wanted on my license plate, but let's show it. Not to say that she didn't get influenced at all while standing <laughs> at the counter. I did have someone standing there with me. Anyway, this is, yes. So this is what I chose. Solex one. Solex one. Yes. She's part of the Solex team. Sorry, Lauren. <laughs> She chose sides. <laughs> so anyway, reminder to you, if you want to get your own license plate, go to the DMV. That is where you have your license plate issued and you will receive a select silver coin and be part of our legacy group and get to have a really cool tag that you drive around. Oh, so you get to be in the group. part of the legacy yeah. group. Yeah, I'm excited Good. about it. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, uh, last thing before we get to our contest and our top and rollers, we have been showing you our how-to videos that are going mm -hmm. to be present in the scanner soon. Right now, we're putting them on YouTube for you to be able to send out to people that you send an Alpha 3 pass to. But we have another one to show. We have Inner Voice and we have um, vitals. vitals already done. But we want to show you right now Comprehensive. The Comprehensive Scan reads and displays frequency information from over 130 organs, cells, bones, and chromosomes. The program analyzes the energetic state of areas such as organs, arteries, veins, glands, nerves, vertebrae, as well as the spine, digestive system, eyes, and lymphatic system to identify their unique vibrational frequencies that are not in an optimal state. Just as with other scans in the AO program, Optimization presents frequencies to teach the body to move toward balance. In the comprehensive section, you may opt to include an inner voice scan as well as a vital scan before running a combined scan. This process identifies the areas in your body most needing balance and allows the combined scan to focus on those areas. Or you may choose to run a custom scan, which covers every aspect of the comprehensive scan. Let's get started. First, Put on your bone transducer headset. If you do not have a headset, you may perform the scan without it. Next, choose which scans you would like to perform. Tap inner voice or vitals to begin. Or if you have already performed those scans, tap combined. If you would like to run a full comprehensive scan, tap custom. Once your scan is complete, tap optimize frequencies. Now your report has been generated and is ready for viewing. Don't forget to email these reports to yourself by tapping this email icon. Remember, your reports are private and are not saved. By emailing them to yourself, you will be able to save your reports for further study and comparison over time. Want more information? Tap this question mark to learn more about the comprehensive scan. To return to the main menu, tap the AO Scan logo here. I love these videos. I think that they're so helpful for any new user and even an experienced user when, when in the scanner, these videos like the comprehensive one you just saw and the inner voice and the vitals that we mentioned will be embedded inside of that in the help section. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have any questions of how to use this, what is it for, what do I do? These videos obviously explain that. But another thing to point out is if you're sharing an Alpha 3 pass and you've talked about maybe the inner voice or the vitals, or in this case, the comprehensive scanning, you can share with that new person that video so they know what to do when they're experiencing their own Alpha 3 pass. And even better yet, it's a great follow-up tool. Maybe you started out by teaching them about inner voice and you shared your pass with them. Share the inner voice video. It's just a, less than a couple minutes. Yeah. But then maybe a day later, you can follow up and say, hey, did you try Vitals yet? Yeah, what do you think? And then send them the video on how to do it to mm -hmm. keep the engagement in there. Not wanting you to bombard anybody. Right. But, but there's certainly tools that give you a reason and a cost to follow up with folks so that they have a better experience trying out the Alpha 3 Pass. So. Well, and you'll notice on YouTube that you'll see two versions of each video. One is a vertical mm. shot and one is, uh, one's vertical, one's, one's horizontal. horizontal. Yeah. And the vertical is better for a phone view. Um, and then 
obviously horizontal is great for a computer. So yep. you choose what you'd like to send. Love All that. right, let's jump into the contest. Okay. Last we're, week, but now we're giving away something really good yeah. this week. We're going to give away a phase. So we had you go on to our YouTube call at last week and just say uh, what you like to learn about. And it could be anything. It can be anything mm -hmm. um, from in the scanner, uh, anything here at Solex or just anything that you'd love to learn about in general. And we are going to give away a phase. So if you have not um, done phase one yet and we draw your name, then you will win phase one. If you have already gone through phase one and we draw your name, then you will win phase two. And if you have done both, um, and we draw your name, we'll reimburse you for phase two. Phase two. Yep. So, so we're to the wise. Uh, hopefully you already got your phase it's, one. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. All right. You want to draw the first one? Okay, here we go. All right. The good thing is we don't know. We don't know what phase they've, they've uh, unless they mentioned here. Kay Ferguson. I love learning. Me too especially about how to expand our understanding about the body using the scanner since frequencies impact us in so many ways. I am also always eager to learn more about how the emotions are vital to health and how our bodies respond to trauma and emotions that are buried and stored in the body mm -hmm. and miasms and how to resolve them. Kay Ferguson, all right, you want to face. Yes. Or you get reimbursed if you're already through phase two. Will so, you do us a favor though? Give us a call and just let us know who you are. Yeah, um, confirm the K. Yeah, Is confirm it Kai? the K. <laughs> it's are you the not. only other Kai that I've ever met in my entire life? All right, let's draw another one. Let's see. Kim Olas. Such good news you shared tonight. I need to get those courses under me so I can understand how to successfully use the database version. I loved the way Deb mentioned tonight the details about the differences between insomnia and sleep easy. Absolutely my favorite thing to learn. Also, it was great how she explained how to connect the dots for that and in what scenarios they are best applied. I asked myself those questions many times during the week on other Cephis. That is the area I've wished to know most about, but wondered if it would ever be available. Wonderful. Well, Kim, yeah. you have won yourself a phase. Let's see if we can get another K in this. I'm liking this. All right, last winner. Talana Taff, I love learning just about everything, especially energies, frequencies, and vibrations. I'm finished, oh, so she's already finished phase one, and am totally on board and super excited to start phase two. Woohoo! Thank you, Solex. I, I, that woohoo should uh, have a little bit more behind it, I think. Woohoo! <laughs> Th <laughs> thank you, Solex. Love this. Update. I couldn't wait. I purchased phase two. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, you're you getting your money back. <laughs> How about that, Telena? Good job. Congratulations. Kay, Kim, and Telena. Yes. Very good. Great job to all three of you. Um, all right. Let's go into our top, top and rollers. rollers. And this is for the week of June 27th. To July 3rd. Yes. We had a five-way tie for first. Wait, um, five-way tie? Yes. That means we're giving away five coins? We're giving away five coins. And? So, Five new members potentially yes. of the legacy group. That's yes. amazing. All right. So you want to tell us who the first person is? Well, we know one of these names. How about Rita Dickinson? Rita Dickinson, Shacy Ritchie. Rose, is it Nippa? Knippa? I would say Nippa. Nippa. Yes. Phoenix Rising. And Erasmia Spiros. Congratulations. I love seeing a long list like that of ties. Yeah, so we haven't of, seen, I don't know if we've seen a list. We haven't seen tie. that in a while. And for first place, wonderful job. Yeah, well done. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into the call and we hope you enjoy it. All right, I'm back here with Lauren. I am uh, I must be pinch hitting. I, I think we need to re <laughs> recruit a better interviewer. Well, but uh, you get me today. You know, it's uh, what we can afford. It's <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Yeah. But we got some great questions. We do. Everybody said, and we just had a recent contest where everybody addressed who they wanted to ask a question to. And of course, Lauren, by a landslide, most people want to hear from you. I don't think I got a single question. Thanks. I appreciate that. No hurt feelings here. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's we right. have a scanner for that. Can we cut? <laughs> okay, just kidding. All right. Let's, we got, we got a bunch to go through. Okay. So we're, so we're going to clear through these. Obviously, we have a great variety to answer today, so pay attention. Maybe your question is here. Uh, one thing to mention, though, 
we do get questions daily. Yeah. Um, and we know that, that some may say, my specific phrasing of a question may not have been answered. Uh, because we try to couple questions together, if they're the same idea or the same topic or, or around the same area of the scanner in particular, we'll try and merge those together to try and address them collectively. As many as we can. Yeah. yeah. So if I don't ask your question word for word, uh, but it is capturing the general idea, pay attention to the answer is what I would recommend because that answer um, may be what you're looking for with your specific request. As, as far as things go. So, you ready? I'm ready. All right, the pressure's on. Let's, let's, let's turn up the pressure. I think, speaking of pressure, let's talk about security. Okay, that's a question we've had from the very beginning. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, yeah. So, and it's a, it's a valid question um, with our devices and our computers and the hacking and all that stuff. In fact, we just recently made a big change in how we handle credit cards here at the company mm -hmm. uh, to, to keep that uh, as secure as possible. Yeah, We're daily doing that with the scanner because the scanner is growing on a daily basis, the amount of data that we're processing on a daily basis. So without going into the real nitty gritty of what we do, yeah. our code for the scanner changes every 15 seconds. So if someone was to hack in, they would be booted out within 15 seconds, if that makes any sense. Yeah, and then that's certainly not enough time to get Anything. Enough set of data, and in, in especially when we're talking about the encryption of it at the highest levels of encryption. That's right. The ongoing changing of the code and the changing of that encryption, um, we're, we're we take it very seriously. Very seriously. To, to maybe to 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 say that uh, um, in a way that is as serious as you can take security with personal information. Now we've also also had the follow up question about people's personal information. Right. And that this is probably the more important part of that. All of your information, all of your scans, even your profile information is encrypted at the time you start a scan. So the data that's going back and forth between the cloud and your device is encrypted. So even if they could capture that, it would be just ones and zeros. They, there's no way they could decode that. Um, we've, we've literally spent years, back when we just had the big scanner, mm -hmm doing that to where we kept that secure and safe and private. So the question is valid and I can't say it enough. That is something that we do every time we put an update. In fact, sometimes you'll go to turn on your scanner and there'll be a little spin your wheel as it's updating new data. And that's to keep the scanner not only working at its best, but to keep it secure. Yeah, and obviously that puts its own balance on things, trying to maintain optimal security with updates while having the user experience be just as clean and, as, and as, as efficient possible. Yeah, as possible. Good, good question. All right, I got a question about comprehensive scans for animals. I was just wondering, will we get a comprehensive scan for animals? I've been using the human scan and converting to the animal's body part and has been spot on under the horse's name. However, I was wondering what the chances are of an animal comp scan. Okay, so we have been working on this since probably late fall last year, having the, the graphics and everything match the animal. So right now what's in the process and we're hoping to have ready by day of discovery, we may make that date, we may miss it a little bit, is our uh, basic dog, uh, basic cat, and the basic horse. Now over time, some of those will be, will be able to go into a little bit more of those individual species, but right mm -hmm. now you will have that. And that's, our goal is uh, working with our graphics people to have that done by the end of August. Okay, so the imagery then uh, for the animals is going to match up with what is in a comprehensive scan for, for a animal. human. Yeah, oh, yes, right. yes. So the, you see the imaging in, for the human, you'll have the same type of imaging for the animal. Okay. It's just in the beginning, it'll be a basic dog, a basic cat, and a basic horse. Okay. And we know there's lots of species, but that'll take time. And there's so much effort to dive mm -hmm. deeper to what you have for humans into pets. That's not yeah. something, obviously, the price isn't changing. That's something that we do right. with, with an R&D budget and things like that over time so we can expand and 
dive deeper into the scanner. And, and the important thing is that's actually still included in your basic system without even yeah. going into phase two, one, two, and three. Yeah. So those things are still part of your, your system. That's just keeping to the commitment mm -hmm. we've made from the outset. That's right. All right, I got a question about food allergies. Will you be adding in more foods to the allergy section? Yes, and that I can tell you that the uh, foods and the allergy sensitivities um, will be added in by the um, day of discovery. So those will be added in. It, it's not a big addition, but mm -hmm. it's it's one that we feel comfortable putting in. So it'll be at least twice the size of what it is right now. Okay, there's always an endless list that, that we can expand to. All right, why does the PET vital scan not include parasites, viruses, or bacteria? That is also another work in progress. Dr. Gursky is helping us with making sure that we have the right parasites and bacteria in there for the different species, but also making to where we can be assured that they're above that 80% threshold. Remember, everything in the scanner is has to be 80% 80, 80 or higher mm -hmm. accuracy and, or consistency. And sometimes you'll see something that'll disappear out of your scanner, not very often, but on occasion. And that's when it started to fall beh behind that, that, that threshold. threshold. So they're being added, but again, it's taking a little bit of time. All right, I got a bit of a compounded question here. So okay. let's go through it. When the playlist was introduced, I understood the intention to be for frequencies that were played together were not canceling each other out. Whenever I am using a playlist simultaneously, I find it curious that all of the CEPIs are playing at once, or does it only appear that way? How is the playlist being synchronized? It's a very astute question. Um, okay, so let me, let me answer it this way. If you have time to sit down and, imp and let them imprint uh, sequentially. That's always the best. That's always the best. However, um, if you're short on time, you need something quick, you can, you can play them uh, continuously together, simultaneously. Now, there's always a risk when you do that, that you are going to have the possibility of Offsetting. some canceling. And that yeah. is like if I was to put in sleep and energy. Yeah. So if you're using some common sense, um, you wouldn't do that. And so the continuous, they are playing at the same time. And yes, there is some layering there, but as long as they're not direct opposites to each other, yeah. they're gonna be fine. But if you're gonna imprint something, a playlist into an object, you know, whether that's your bracelets or your rings or your cards, it's always best to do that uh, sequentially one at a time mm -hmm. and you only have to do that for the minimum amount of imprint time okay yeah and so you're paying attention to the frequencies that you do want to imprint i, I kind of relate it to supplements obviously that's a background that i have when you look at supplements you we are careful for example we just launched think we mm -hmm. were careful to make sure that the ingredients do not have offsetting qualities to each other when we put them together just like you wouldn't take a sleep aid you know, melatonin or something right. like that with a caffeine. That's right. You're, you're not gonna mix those two together, right? It doesn't, doesn't make sense, but you would be targeted. You right. might take melatonin with something else that might be more beneficial to enhancing that experience. Exactly. Just like what you've done with Think, you made it to where the ingredients complement one another. Yes. They don't fight each other. Same with your playlist. You give it some thought, make sure that those playlists um, even if you're not running them on top of each other, mm -hmm. if they're sequentially, if you've got ones in there that are compete, they're going to cancel. Even though one was played first and the other one, you're giving it, uh, do I turn left or do I turn right? So you just want to make sure that everything that you put in that playlist is complementing what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, okay. yeah. So yeah, perfect. Well said. All right, here's another question. Once I have imprinted a playlist into an object like eyeglasses, do I need to refresh the imprinting? And if so, how? after how long? Okay. You have a wonderful tool in your hand, okay? Now you want a car, and hopefully it's a car you enjoy, and you probably drive it once in a while. Same thing with your scanner. You have the ability to refresh to 
I mean, if you put something in the refrigerator and you let it sit a few days, it's going to like lettuce and that's going to wilt. Yeah. You know, and so if you've imprinted your glasses or your bracelets or something, it doesn't take long to refresh that. And remember, it's always swimming in the energies that were around and emotional energies are the most powerful. Yeah. Those are the ones like if you've done your glasses and you've had an emotional day, um, Clear them, yeah. redo them. It yeah. doesn't take long. That's what the, the scanner is there for. So it will hold a long time, but it's also picking up residue from other frequencies mm -hmm. around. So as often as you can, as often as you feel, as often as you think about it, those are your cues. It's time to refresh. Yeah, and great example, great imagery of the wilting lettuce as far as that goes. That is evidence of the energy changing, the state mm -hmm. of energy changing, and the lettuce itself also being influenced by the things around it. Yeah. Um, great, great, uh, great comment there. All right. I know sh we got competitors here. I know Shelby and Deb talked about not changing the profile with weight gain, but when do we update a child's profile? I have two grandchildren programmed at four and six years old. Their height and weight change will be significant in a few years. And what about their picture? Okay, so let's go over to the profile. Your profile is setting you up a fingerprint, so to speak, or a key that is unique to you. So you take a picture, you put in your weight, you put in your height, um, and the other information that you, the email, all that. When you put that information and you save it, you've created that profile, that you've made that key that is just for your profile. Now, your weight's going to change, your age is going to change, uh, your, your grandchildren, all that's going to change. But what you did, you're not capturing their weight or their picture or any of that. You're, you just created a unique, a unique key for them. So remember, once you've done it, leave it alone. Leave that profile alone. If you go in and you change a date or you change a weight or you change a picture, you literally have just created a new key, a yeah. new profile. And now the scanner has to go through that whole process of learning, of learning you yeah. again. Yeah. So none of those things are important on face value. They're critical to making you a private key. But we don't care what the weight is, what the picture is, what any of that. Once you've put it in, it's done and leave it that way. And great, great, uh, great thing that the, the fingerprint is, yeah. is exactly right. You could gain yeah. weight, you can go 10 feet tall, you can get the fingerprint stays exactly the same from birth, no matter how you change. Yep, from mm -hmm. birth to grave. Yeah, same All finger. Through. Okay, one more question. Okay. If you charge the water sticks, pet collars, etc., in the sun and don't use them right away, can you still use and imprint frequencies into them at a later date, or do you have to recharge them again before using? I have several items that I like to put them all in the sun at the same time, and I just don't know if the charge wears off or if it picks up negative frequencies when not in use. Also, what is the best way to store after being charged? Okay. Let's unpack that. Okay, first of all, whenever you're charging a Cybin product, now I'm not talking about your ring or your, your credit card or any of those other things or your glide, eyeglasses, but if you're charging a Cybin product, you should charge it, then imprint it. Okay, because putting it out in the sun can sometimes diminish the effectiveness of the imprint. Your other items, it doesn't matter. No, and the only things you're gonna put out in the sun anyway are Cybin yeah, to products. activate the right. negative iron purpose. Okay, so charge first, then imprint. You're charging, you only do that every one or two, uh, one or two weeks. You mm -hmm. do a charge, then you imprint. Yeah. Now, if you, like I said before, if those things have been not used and just sitting somewhere uh, out in the open, then they're being, they're absorbing the energies around them. So the best way to store something that you're not going to use right away, honestly, is to put it in a uh, roll it up in some tin foil and put it in a uh, place that's away from everybody. The tin foil just acts like a shield. Your box that mm -hmm. you're... Uh, like the sugar pellets. And the sugar pellets, yeah. yeah. The, those all have a foil in the box to help repel some of that energy. So store them in a, a, a dark, cool place, wrap it in some tin foil if you're not going to use it for a while. 
But generally, generally when you want to imprint something, you're going to want to utilize it or have your pet utilize it. So, so charge, then imprint, and then store just where it's away from as much energy as possible. And I think back to your prior, prior comment in this in this section, that don't be afraid. Your scanner, you pay for the subscription, it is unlimited. Yeah. You can imprint as much as you like. You could do it every other hour if you wanted to. Yeah. I don't think that's a necessarily necessary. use of time or necessary, but you can. And so do what you need to do to make sure that those frequencies and that energy is as vibrant and potent as it can be uh, based on the charge of negative ions that are available in these Cybin products. Exactly. All right, bonus question just came in. So we have to answer it, Lauren. Okay. I've been really wanting to know, is Kai related to Lauren? <laughs> I so appreciate the compliment. <laughs> Thank you so much. If there, I, I was hurting earlier in this call, and now I feel so much better. Just the gesture that we could be related. Well, there's age before beauty. <laughs> so, you know, no, we're not related. No. Uh, but we do share a common goal, and that is to bring each of you the absolute best that we can. And we're passionate. Uh, you can tell that about everybody that you see on these videos. Kai, Shelby, myself, Jake, Deborah, all the people that you've seen, we're passionate about what we do. We believe in what we do, and we believe in you. So yeah, that's how we're related. It's well said. Passion. And I just get a piggyback on that. So, <laughs> all right, great questions. You're all done for today. Thanks. See you guys next week. All right, we're here, uh, middle of summer, and we talked about negative ions. So I have an idea for the giveaway. Okay. Okay, on this call, comment, what is your favorite Solex negative ion product and why? And? We're gonna give that product to the ones that we draw. So if you picked a product and your name is drawn, that's one you're gonna get. Yeah, so tell us what it is, why you love it. We're gonna draw three names next week from this call. So comment here on YouTube and the, you might win. You might win. Okay. Have a great week, guys. See ya. Um, let's see. We had a contest last week. We did. The contest was for face. I need to pause right there. Sorry, Jacob, toss it up. All right, we're knee deep into summer. We are. Or winter if you're in Australia. That's <laughs> right. G'day. We're not doing that right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Sure. <laughs> All right, we're knee deep into summertime. We are indeed. No. Unless you're in Australia. Unless you're in Australia. Yeah, they're knee deep into winter. <laughs> Isn't that right? We're not going that direction no. either. What's <laughs> wrong? <laughs> 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 Did we not? Okay, we're just gonna do the whole thing over again. Okay. <clears throat>